Welcome back, tennis fans. This one's not a GTL news. It's going to be a GTL preview covering one of the biggest matches in tennis. Yes, you've guessed it. It is Andy Murray versus Novak Djokovic. The 37th edition will be covering it on the live watch along very soon. So make sure you hit the bell and subscribe to know when we go live. Let's get into the preview. So here we are, Djokovic Murray at the Matua Madrid Open. Uh, a new chapter in their rivalry. Thursday, 12 p.m. Madrid time. And you can see a really cool graphic here of the two of them. 37. It's just phenomenal. These numbers are incredible. To meet 37 times um, in a professional tennis match is extraordinary. And you won't be surprised to know that Novak Djokovic has won the majority of them. Uh, the head-to-head -head currently is 25-11. So not terrible. Murray's done all right. He's won 11 matches against Djokovic. Not many people can say they've done that. 5-1 uh, on clay and also 2-0 in Madrid. So Andy Murray's never beaten him in Madrid. And on clay doesn't seem to do very well. Um, I don't know if that's going to really play too much of a factor because you've got to remember this is the first time they're playing in five years. Murray, since that time, has had a big major hip operation. Novak Djokovic has probably only got better, if I'm honest, and he's still playing some great tennis. The difference is he is coming. Um, you're, you're playing him at a time when he's not played necessarily his best tennis this year and has been unable to play a lot of the event. So it may be an opportunity for Murray uh, where he's been playing extremely well this Madrid, beating some good players. Chapeau, the last one. Having a look here, this is some of the most prominent ATP rivalries. The biggest one, of course, Djokovic Nadal, 58 matches. And you never know, we may be seeing 59 here in Madrid, but let's wait and see for that. Uh, 50 matches, Djokovic Federer, 40 matches, Federer Nadal, 37 matches now, Murray Djokovic. So it's just overtaken Lendl McEnroe. Um, and yeah, it's going to be going down as one of the most iconic tennis rivalries in history there's not going to be many other players who reach this landmark and i've got some really fond memories between the two of them of course that wimbledon final where murray was able to win and it was a very uh, rare situation at the time i remember in the uk everyone was so excited and happy it just didn't happen very often and murray that year was on fire but it's a complete different situation we're looking at this year and I think it is hard to look past Djokovic. The next one, this just shows some of the same things we've been talking about. You can have a look at the career wins. Uh, of course, they've both been world number one. Djokovic is world number one at the moment. And career wins, you've got 995. So Djokovic approaching the 1,000, you'd think, this season. And Andy Murray, 703. Last meet in 2017, like we spoke about. And the final one I want to bring up is a funny one from Youssef saying, after five and a half years, we're finally getting a Djokovic-Murray match. One of the most underrated rivalries of all time. And this is a great photo. <laughs> I believe this was the first match between the two of them. And just have a look at Andy Murray's barnet. What a haircut he's got there. Uh, Djokovic just looks pretty much the same, just a younger version. And uh, pretty remarkable, really, seeing them both here. So young. And they're still doing it now at the top of the game. But let's get into my prediction. It's not going to surprise many people. I think we're going to see a close first set. And then Djokovic is going to walk it. I think Djokovic is going to do it straight sets. The first one being very close. Maybe a 7-5. And the second one a little bit more convincing. I think playing Chapeau in the last round, I think, did take a little bit too much out of Andy Murray. Um, and I'm not sure physically he's going to be able to compete with Novak on that basis. Uh, but let's wait and see. Hopefully, you can join us for the watch along. It should be a great match. The 37th meeting. Let's see if we can get a big upset and Andy Murray wins. Uh, but thanks for listening, guys. Let me know your predictions in the comments section below. And of course, like and subscribe.